Hello there, welcome back. This is Ahmed Gad. Welcome to the Java Eclipse and Droid series. Today we will have the Getter and Setters. This video is number 17. And this video required to have a knowledge about creating packages and classes and projects working with classes in Java and also a little bit of input output methods and these videos are available in video number 15, 16 and 18 and also if you work with a scrap uh, Eclipse scrapbook is good uh, if you want to test code so you can go to video 255 all these links will be up here right now um, also if you didn't uh, start your Java uh, working and development you can use the preparation uh, video for Java and Eclipse okay let's start about the, our agenda today definition and why we use it and we will have also a quick examples okay let's start getter and setters getters and setters is something that we will use it inside our class and the word something will be changed to a method it's a method that you will use it inside and within your class the class you know the your class the class is a, a an object that can be a template that can be used to create other objects a class is a template that can be used to create other objects with the same uh, definitions and kinds and stuff like this so in your class you will have some fields some fields need to be filled when you create a new instant of the class when you create a new object of the class so these fields some of them are public fields that can be changed outside the class and a private field that cannot be changed cannot be changed I'll show you right now in our example this point and return back to this area so let's have a class here we have a class car J and here we have a public fields that can be easily changed and a private fields that we can't change it for example so let's open our tester our scrapbook and make sure that you have include your package inside it there is a very good video for a scrapbook and how to use it um, right now let's create our new instant our new object will be car it's a new car and new car constructor the first constructor we have no argument in our class and after that let's let's try to test this code stop and test it no errors it's okay let's start now our new car and this is very important point let's change the um, fields okay uh, and here is the most important point we will change the CC and the color okay and the no uh, sorry is a number of doors and option number one and this other is not fields okay but I think we missed two fields yes we did best two fields those private fields this is a quick view to the private fields that we couldn't the manufacturer and the salon uh, we didn't change it we couldn't change it we couldn't find it when we start here in our tester when we start to have proper uh, fields for this new car you, you have only the four fields and you have no other fields like manufacturer and uh, salon it's a boolean field so so for that reason for that reason we will start to use the what we call it getter and setters so common fields 
are private you can't access them except if you create a getter and a setter for those fields but other fields like public it's okay you can change it any time here we are the public fields can be easily changed and can be seen here but those two private fields are in only so why we use these fields read only this is for protection for your code and for your data integrity uh, this by preventing access preventing access to this unauthorized uh, sorry to prevent unauthorized access to this field uh, and uh, the assignment of improper values input validation I will show you what what is this what this mean I mean if you need to when you have the value you need to validate that this is uh, not greater than something not less than something so this is a way of validation so the getter method when we create a getter method right now show you the validation of items so we can make the validation right now when we start to make the getter and setters so let's back to our clips here is our example we don't need this right now and we have a car in it's a class that will start to create inside it car new car it's the same like we did it in the uh, scrapbook and we just now have a new car to play and access it okay so let's start this point we will uh, change the cc of this car so we a string a string with car cc will be input dialog there is a video for input and output dialogs you can watch it if you don't are familiar with this and it asks for car cc and add this variable that I, I, I got it in this car cc after that I want to substitute the cc of this new car with that one this may show a problem for you how come actually any input is a string and the car cc is not a string it's an integer so it's asking you right now to solve this problem let's try to solve the problem first solving the problem type change the type of cc okay let's change it oops it's a very great problem you will change you will play in your main class i don't like this uh changement i don't like this solution so not all the solutions given by java you say okay let's go no no you will make a, a, a miserable for your code so i don't like this it's an integer i wanted to keep it as an integer so please go back and check another solution let's take the other solution the solution number two and this it, it, it seems it's good okay where is the other ah change type of car to integer it's nice solution i think it's good solution let's try it okay we did it oops you can't do this because actually all the input in the dialog box is strength so how come I make the a, a, a declaration for this uh, car CC in integer no I don't want this solution also both solutions don't depend on unlogic uh, it, it, it's very helpful the, 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 the compiler uh, quick uh, fixes but try to check what is your problem your problem you have a string okay and you need to substitute make it as an integer and substitute it in the field so a very piece of cake we will change this see it's integer parse entity car cc to string i'll add this instead of car cc the input that i got it from the dialog box i think it work let's try to say check this let's try to check this code okay how actually this code did it run 
or maybe run and stop because actually you didn't add any process to work or any method to work inside the main you need here in the main this is the principles to add this okay so you need uh, let's remove this we have no argument to provide okay so car in let's make it okay where of okay can do so it will work so here is a, a solution that I did make it static so this is a solution that make it help uh, work let's try let's try now right, right now let's go play I think a dialogue appear or not maybe in the background uh-huh sometimes this <laughs> okay so what's the car string right now it's three zero zero okay by the way by the way this what I'm typing right now is a string and when I say okay the program will be ended okay and the car CC right now uh, the new car CC I don't know it will substitute that or not no this is not working we can print it later we can print it in order to to check that it's okay so in for a car in we can print it uh, we can say like this and copy and let's go here and instead of hello we need the car CC itself okay This must give you your car CC is equal, whatever. So again, our car CC is 23400. Okay. And the message is okay. And take care that we are right now, we are printing from the new car.cc, not from the string that we changed it before. I will pick the, pick the data inside it okay so I mean the car CC is a string right now and we did change it to numbers and after changing to number we add it to the field CC inside the new car and what we are printing right now is the CC of the new car okay so this is a very important point actually I give a very huge CC in order to show you something later now it's okay let's try to change right now we want to change not the car CC we want to change the salon okay the car salon okay and here we have SL that's good this is just a question we'll have a question what about car salon car salon is true is a pullion true let's say it's the manufacturer it's, it's easier for us <laughs> okay okay and it's a string yeah okay manufacturer is a string okay this code very good and when you have this we will start to take um, new we want to set we have it as an input and we now we want to set it dot where is the salon sure you understand that salon is a private and cannot be changed in the, by this way so changing as this the salon need to make or the MF I mean sorry you need to create a setter for this area a setter and getter so let's make a create a setter and getter for the Mazda uh, I mean for the new car okay I, I will show you a very easy way and from this way start 
creating your getter and setter and understanding by your your way so the way is you have to generate automatic generate a getter and setters okay and i'll use only this and i can choose the mf all the other i don't need it i can choose to make getters and setters or setters only so let's make this and this what should you type it's just a public string it's a method a java public a string get mf and inside it retains the mf provide a uh, public void uh, set mf and this is we will use it in input and this dot mf okay do you want here from the getter and setter to make any check you can say if mf equal a s s s do something okay change it make mf so then mf equal whatever okay so you have to do or, or make cases okay so if if they this is what we would call it right now is code validation okay if if we have mf that the input for this from the the, the method will take an input if this input is not as we wish you can do something to this input or refuse the input or do whatever okay so this is the point of validating the code so the getter and setter uh, why we use the getter and setter protecting the code and, and and let's not all people can change with a certain privilege you can if you are x and you will go to uh, work with this method okay so this is a certain uh, way of validation uh, privilege you know, the privilege of you and if you okay you can change those by accessing the methods of getter and setters so also this we what we call it uh, improper values or, or input validation input validation so let's right now go back let's save this and let's go back uh, this uh, this problem okay this problem happened when you keep this running the scrapbook let's go back to here and we have new right now let's remove this point and start to say dot it's supposed to have um, CC color no number of doors option one oh, it's okay that's all okay okay and we have something here strange the get mf okay here and here also the set mf that's good here we are set mf or set it gives you options you need set mf or the car mf this is string i think we need to set this one okay and having this semi small semicolon we remove all the errors sure you need to right now to print this and you need to print it not from the value or car uh, mf you need to print it from the mf itself okay dot where is the mf you can't find the mf right now manufacturer but you can find get mf okay and that's all let's start play with this car the cc is two three four very big cc but if you have a getter and setter for this also okay i can show you when, when we start to make a getter and setter it can make a getter and setter for this for when you set this big number is a huge number it can refuse this number and ask you again or stuff like this it will not do right now because actually we don't have getter and setter for the cc okay let's go the cc is very big what is the manufacturer name of the car it's not mazda it's for example whatever 
okay and now this string go here to car mf and car mf change the setting of the new car field mf by the setter and after that you can't read it except by the getter and that's all about getter and setter i hope you enjoy this video and if you want to have more information about input and output so you can play with the input and output video number 18 thank you for listening this is ahmuzgat